Hello, hello guys. How are you today? How's everything? Hello. Can you guys hear me? Yes, no, could it be? No, no me escuchan. Vaya, pues no. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Hey, uh, thank you guys. Thank you for being here today. I appreciate your being here on the class. Uh, do me a favor, guys. Can you please uh, turn your cameras on? I will really appreciate if you guys can turn your cameras on. That would be really cool if you guys can do that. All right. So thank you so much. So how was your weekend, guys? ¿Cómo estuvo su fin de semana? How was your weekend? Was it good? ¿Cómo estaba la playa? ¿Todo bien? No? Yes? No fue la playa, dice. Al lago fue. Ah, qué bien. All right. All right. Okay. How was it, Jaime? Excellent. Excellent. Awesome. Yeah, Excellent. good. Excellent. <laughs> All right. That's cool, guys. Um, It's very nice. And you? Uh, it was good, you know. I mean, it was a really interesting weekend for me, you know. I did a lot of things, so it was really good. Um, I spent some quality time with, um, I'm going to say, with my family, you know, and it was pretty good. So, yeah, it's good. All right. That's so, nice. Yeah. <laughs> and um, I didn't go to the lake or the beach, but I went to, I was a mountain. You know, I like mountains because I like the trees and all that. So it's pretty good. I like the mountains. That's montañas. That's that's my thing, you know. Not the beach. I don't like the beach either. You know. Hi. Do you like do you like uh, video games? I like video games. Yes, but ah oh man, I don't have time to play video games. Not anymore. You know. I used to play. Yo solía jugar bastante antes, pero llegó. Uh, what is your best game? My best game. Well, when when I was young. I used to play Medal of Honor in the PlayStation 2. Do you know? Do you know that one? No. Medal of Honor? Yes, Medalla de Honor in Spanish. Uh, I used to play it in the PlayStation 2, man. It was a long time ago. Oh. Uh, bueno, <laughs> it, no lo conozco, la verdad. Pero... It's kind of it's kind of Call, Call of Duty. Se parece al Call of Duty. Mm -hmm. Oh. It looks like. Yeah, it's kind of Kind muy of. Sorry? What was that? Oh. Muy, muy parecido a Call of Duty. Yeah, it's a, it's very alike. Actually, yes, it's very alike to Call of Duty. It's, uh, you know, it's it's actually, I mean, I used to like it a lot, but, you know, I'm, I'm, I don't have time to play that anymore, you know, so. I like it, uh, Call of Duty and Battlefield with my son oh really do you still play those games do you play them now uh, yeah, so, so. kind of all right just a little bit all uh, right that's pretty good that's pretty good awesome okay so that's pretty good guys well uh thank you guys thank you for being here uh so we're going to start well you know what before we start i'm gonna call the attendance okay so if you hear your name, say, I'm here, teacher, okay? So, or anyways, you want to say it, okay? So you can say present, you can say I'm here, you can say whatever you want, all right? So just as long as you let me know that you're here in the class, we will be good. All right, so I'm going to call the name right now. I got um, Abigail Elizabeth. No, okay, I got a few people now. All right, uh, what about Alejandro Antonio? Present. Thank you. Then I have uh, Anderson Jeremy. Present. Okay. Uh, Blanca Stephanie. Okay. Uh, Briseida Lisbeth. All right, then I go with Camila Lisette. Present. Thank you. Carlos Aníbal. Present. 
Cecia, Jeremy. Oh, my bad. I'm sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. Jemima. Sorry, my bad. Perdón. Are you here, Jemima? No? No está. Okay. Thank you. All right. <laughs> That's good. Because <laughs> I made a mistake. All right. Uh, Claudia, Maricela. Present. Okay. Uh, Christian, Daniel. Present. Elsie, Gabriela. Emilio Isaac. Estela Elizabeth. I'm here. Estela Marisol. Presente. A lot of people are amazing today. Um, Fernando Jose. Okay, then we go with, um, all right, Floricia I'm, Mejibar. I'm here, teacher. Okay, then we go with Glenda Guadalupe. Mm -hmm. um, Hazel Marcela. Um, Ingrid Esmeralda. Present teacher. Iris Milena. Present. Jaime Alexander. Present teacher. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, Jaime Ivan. I am here, teacher. Thank you so much. All right, and then we go with Juana Elizabeth. Present. Thank you, Karina Jamilet. Carla Joana. All right, then we go with Carla Marcela. Present, teacher. Thank you, Kevin Joel. Grisia Dorilla. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, and Lazaro Eduardo. I'm here. Thank you, I appreciate that, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you for helping me with the attendance. I appreciate that a lot, guys. All right, so, um, hey guys, what do you remember about the last class? Mm -hmm. What do you remember? Mm -hmm. Nothing, yes, a little bit. Prepositions. Prepositions, yes, uh-huh. We talked about the prepositions. Questions. We were able to talk about- uh, Double the, H questions. WH questions. They would, yeah, uh huh. And before that, we saw as well the just no questions with the verb to be, right? And that's basically what we were talking about. Um, uh, okay, uh, Karina, I got it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know, I know it's raining, it's raining a lot somewhere else, you know, so that's why we're having issues, but it's okay, guys. I, I know I'm reading your messages on the chat. Um, thank you, thank you for saying that. All right, guys, so um, that's pretty much what it is, right? Okay, so today, guys, uh, we are going to start with uh, the session, um, section three, actually. So let me just share my screen so you guys can see it. Um, this week, we are going to see just the section three, okay? What do we have for this week? We have section three and also we got the midterm. The midterm is basically the exam, okay? That is what you are going to complete. Um, 
just so you know, I'm going to show you how the exam looks like. Okay. I'm going to show you how the exam looks like. Okay. And as, as I can see, it actually allows you to do it as many times as you want until you have it ready. For, I mean, good. For example, here, you know, you're just going to listen to it. If you make a mistake, for example, and you click another one, then uh, it will just show you that you got it wrong, okay? So it, this is like part one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It has eight, eight parts right there. So that's that's actually what it, what it has, guys. So um, you guys can work on this at any time. I mean, as 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 we are, you know, working on, on everything on the topics, you can just work on that and you should be good. So then you go with the next one, the next one, the next one, the next one. Este es el midterm, okay? Es el que ustedes también tienen que tener completados, okay? Este es el midterm. Entonces, para esta week, solo tenemos eh, la sección 3, Y también lo que eh, uh, les decía, el midterm, que es el examen. So, this is what we have right here. And this is pretty much what we are going to be doing, okay? Um, all right. So, uh, remember, please, try to work on all these because um, this is something that you need to have ready. Work on the platform, okay? That's what you guys need to do. All right, so now we have, uh, we're going to start with something right here. And this is what we have. And it says, uh, lesson adjective. It says, in this class, you will listen to a conversation titled, Are You From Seoul? This conversation illustrates yes and no questions. And also the WH questions, which we will learn in the future lessons, okay? That's what we're going to do, okay? So, right now, we will just go uh, to the uh, video, and I'm going to play the video, and I need you to listen and read, okay? Listen and read. So, let me play the video here. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll listen to a comp Can you listen and watch? Yes? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Conversation yeah. title, yeah. Are You From Seoul? This conversation illustrates how yes, no, and WH questions are used. Are you from California, Jessica? Well, my family is in California now, but we're from Korea originally. Oh, my mother is Korean, from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, we're not from Seoul. We're from Daejeon. So is your first language Korean? Yes, it is. What I would like for you to do next is to practice this conversation. This conversation will become very useful for our future lessons. Okay, so that is what we are uh, talking about right here, okay? Now, uh, this is pretty much something that we were discussing uh, before. And this is the conversation that we are talking about. Now, I need some volunteers, at least six volunteers. You can raise your virtual hand and we are going to practice our reading skills, okay? That's what we're going to do. Volunteers, raise your virtual hand. Okay, I got Fernando Jose, okay? Come on, guys, come on, come on, sin miedo. Let's go, let's go, you can do it. Okay, thank you. All right, I have Ingrid and Fernando. Okay, so Ingrid, you are going to be Jessica and Fernando, you are going to be Tim. Okay, you guys can, you can use your own names. Pueden usar sus nombres si quieren, if you want, your own names. So, let's go. Okay. Um, are you from California, Ingrid? Well, my family is in California now, but we're from Korea originally. originally. Oh, my mother is Korean from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, we are not from Seoul. We are from Dayong. 
So, is your first language Korean? Yes, it is. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, okay, more volunteers. I got Clicia. Come on, any other volunteer? Otro voluntario, any other volunteer? Okay. Uh, who? Lazaro. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay. And uh, so, let's see. Uh, Crisia, you're going to be Jessica. Lazaro, you're going to be Tim. Then we'll okay. go with you, Floricia, okay? okay. Uh, yeah, sí. Yes, right now. Uh, are you from California, Jessica? Well, my family is in California now, but we are from Korea originally. <coughs> oh, my mother is current from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? We're not from Seoul. We're from the uh, region. region. So, is your first language Korean? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, guys. Okay, um, so I'm going to ask Floricia, you're going to be Jessica, and Anderson, Jeremy, you're going to be Tim. Please. Let's read it. Are you from California, Jessica? Uh, well, my family is in California now. Uh, we're from Korea originally. Oh, my mother is Korean. From Seoul, are you from Seoul? No, we're not from Seoul. We are from the Seoul. Who is you? Here's language, language Korean? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, guys. Any other volunteers? No more volunteers? Yes, no, could it be? Okay, I got Christian. Uh -huh. Yo, teacher. Eh, levántame la manita, que solo digo yo, teacher, pero no veo quién. <laughs> yo, teacher. Oh, okay, Aníbal. Okay, vaya, para verlos, levántame la manita virtual, por ahí. <laughs> okay, so I got Elsie. And... Hey, pero no la bajen, tengan arriba para ver quiénes son los que quieren. <laughs> Tenga la manita virtual arriba. Ok. Va, vamos a darle chance a Aníbal. Aníbal un ratito más haciendo. Ok, Aníbal. So you're going to be Tim and Elsie, you're going to be Jessica. Then we will go with Christian and Juana. Ok, Aníbal, you start. Are you from California, Jessica? Mm -hmm. Well, my family is in California now, but we're from Korea originally. Oh, my mother is Korea. From Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, we're we're not from Seoul. We are from Dayun. So, is your first language Korean? Yes, it is. Thank you so much. Now let's go with Christian and uh, Juana. Christian, you're going to be team, and Juana, you're going to be uh, Jessica. Okay. Are you from California, Jessica? Well, my family is in California now. We were from Korea originally. Oh, my mother is uh, Korean from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, we're not from Seoul. We're from Dachau. So it's your first language, Korean? Yes, it is. All right, thank you so much. Okay, guys, thank you. Um, now, we will just check right now on the, I will mm -hmm. say, on the um, pronunciation of the couple of words, okay? For example, it says, are you from California, Jessica? And it says, well, my family is now, I'm sorry, is in California now, but, no boot, but, but okay but we're from korea korea we're from korea so we're from korea originally originally okay it says 
Oh, my mother is Korean. So, Korean is a nationality. Is somebody that lives in Korea, it's Korean. For example, somebody that lives in El Salvador is Salvadorian, right? Salvadoreño, right? Okay, so we got Korea originally and Korean. Then we got Seoul. Seoul. Así como la Kia Seoul. <laughs> from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, we're not from Seoul. We're from Daejeon. So, is your first, first language Korean? Okay, so the words are, check, pay attention to this. Korea, originally, Korean, sold, first, language, Korean. Okay, that's what it is. Okay, guys, do you have any question about the... Um, about any uh, meaning of these words right here, about the meaning of the words here, any question that you guys have? No questions? No, no teacher. Clear? No. No. Clear like the coffee? Yes? Okay. <laughs> no, you <laughs> okay, like, like the Coke then. Como la Coca, Coca-Cola light. All right, uh, so let's check it out right here. Okay, guys, and so this is what we were talking about, okay? This is what we were doing, uh, uh, like I would say, last week. But we're just adding a little more, okay? And so this is what we have. It says, in this class, you will learn, I mean, sorry, we will just go to the next short um, explanation about the just no questions with the verb to be affirmative and negative, okay? But this is like the next objective that we have for today. And it says in this class, you will learn how to form negative statements and just no questions would be. Okay. Now let's go here. And what's going on? It's not playing. It's just, it's puzzled. Uh, <clears throat> okay. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Let me just reload it. Give me a second. I'm just reloading the page. Okay, guys. But if you remember last week, we were talking about what? We were talking about the there's no questions with the bird to be. And we were also talking about like um the other um WH questions, I would say. But here we go. I'm going to play the, uh, the video. I need you to listen and try to watch it at the same time, okay? And then put a question mark at the end. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form. Can you hear that? Yes? Can you watch it as yeah. well? Thank yes. you. Statements. And yes and no questions would be. Let's start by looking at the examples on the screen. All the statements that you see are negative statements. I'm not from New York. You're not late. She's not from Russia. He's not from Italy. It's not English. We're not from Japan. You're not early. They're not in Mexico. In order to form negative statements would be you need to follow this next formula. Subject plus verb to be plus not plus complement. So let's try to make sense of this. I am not from New York. The example above, when expressed spoken, we will typically use contractions. So that's why we say I'm not from New York rather than I am not from New York. We make the contraction. Let me give another example. You are not late. Now, let me talk about making questions would be. This is the structure to follow. Verb to be plus subject plus complement. 
we're going to take the examples from this chart. So R U from California and then put a question mark at the end. Am I early? Is she from Brazil? Is he from Chile? Is it Korean? Are you from China? Are we late? Are they in Canada? If you notice the examples above, you can see that we have the verb to be, then the subject, and finally some kind of complement. In order to answer this type of questions, you will typically give a short answer, such as the examples that you see on the chart. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, you're not. Yes, she is. No, she's not. Yes, he is. No, he's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, we are. No, we're not. Yes, you are. No, you're not. Yes, they are. No, they're not. Now it's your turn to practice. Give as many examples as possible, forming questions and answers. All right. So I know that pretty much we know how to do sentences or affirmative sentences with the verb to be. Okay. For example, I can say, I am... Uh, Okay, I can say, I am from El Salvador. That's one sentence, okay? I am from El Salvador. And let me just make it right here. Uh, here I have some examples, okay? But I'm going to do I'm gonna do one more thing right here. Now, listen. We have the subject, the verb to be, and the complement. This is for affirmative statements, okay? Affirmative. So you need the subject, the verb to be, and the complement. Okay. If I'm not mistaken, and if I remember well, ya no sabemos los subjects, ¿verdad? Que los aprendimos o tratamos de aprenderlos en la clase la semana pasada. I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they, right? Those are called the subject pronouns, okay? Then we have the bear to be. We have three forms of the bear to be. Which, which are the three forms of the bear to be, guys? Mm -hmm. Are, please. Mm -hmm. One more. Um, um, is, are, right? Those are the three forms of the verb to be. And the complement, well, the complement is anything you want to add at the end, you know, just so it can make sense, right? So, for example, I is a subject. Am is a verb to be. A, a student, is a complement. I'm a student. She is a student. We are students right so these are three examples of affirmative um, sentences i can also say um from el salvador i'm from el salvador boom okay i'm from el salvador that's one of the things that we have here okay and so this is what this is also affirmative that's what it is. Okay. Now, uh, this is something else that we have to know. In order to make it a negative, uh, a negative statement or sentence with the verb to be, all you need to do is just add the word not after the verb to be. En otras palabras, teacher, entonces, ¿cómo hacemos una oración negativa usando el verbo to be? Facilísimo. Lo único que van a hacer es agregar not. Where, donde, after the verb to be, después del verbo to be. Ok, so it's like, tenemos la misma estructura, ok. Lo único que cambia, vean, es que tenemos not después del verbo to be. Aquí no tenemos not, miren, pero acá sí, ve. That's the only difference. Entonces, es como que tengamos esta misma oración, she is a student, y solo le agreguemos not, Después del verbo to be. Ok, acá está. I am a student. Uh, let's see. Aníbal, what's the verb to be in this sentence? ¿Cuál es el verbo to be en esta oración? Uh, 
Um, um, good job, good job. I am. Entonces, la regla nos dice I'm. que para hacer la negativa lo que tenemos que hacer es agregar not después del verbo to be. ¿Cómo nos quedaría la oración, Aníbal? How will the sentence be? Che, eh... la, number one, this one, this one. I am a student. I am a... It's not a student. ¿Qué nos dice la regla? ¿Tenemos que agregar otra vez el verbo to be o qué es lo que tenemos que agregar para hacer la negativa? Tenemos que agregar solo una cosita. Se lo tengo señalado. I am, I am not a student. El not. Not. Solo eso vamos a agregar, chicos. Vamos a agregar not. Es que miren, está, está como fácil para no confundirnos. O sea, nos aprendemos la estructura. Sabemos que para hacer una oración con el verbo to be necesitamos el sujeto, verbo to be, complemento. Tres cosas. Fácil, esas ya las sabemos. Ok. Pero, hey, teacher, mire, yo quiero hacer la negativa, hombre. Va. Está bueno, pues hagamos la negativa. ¿Qué va a hacer? Solo agréguele not. ¿De a dónde? Después del verbo to be. You just need to add not after the verb to be. Y entonces, eh, Aníbal ya tenía, ya, 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 me había, ya me había dicho cuál era el verbo to be. Perfecto. Entonces, ya después del verbo to be, solo usted pone not. Mire. Boom. It just negativa. I am not a student. Mm -hmm. Ok. Easy. We're learning. Don't worry, guys. We're okay. We're learning. Estamos aprendiendo. Tranquis, ok. So, that's what it is. Lo que quiero que vean es que no es complicado, la verdad. Y vean. Yo lo que hacía era que me aprendía la estructura de una, por ejemplo, y ya ahí era como ir agregando, ¿ok? Y era como decir, este, bueno, me voy a aprender una oración negativa, una afirmativa y una pregunta. Así cuando tenía que hacer alguna de esas, yo recordaba la que ya me podía, que me la aprendía bien, y se lo iba siguiendo el mismo patrón. So, same thing. That's what we can do, ¿ok? So, ok, for example, here, it, the, we have the examples. She is a student. She is not a student. Si ven, la única diferencia es not. ¿Por qué? Porque esta es negative. Because this is negative. She is not a student. She is not a student, right? That's what it is. Okay, but how can we make this other sentence right here affirmative? Uh, I'm sorry, this is affirmative. I'm from El Salvador. How can it be in negative right here? Who can tell me? I'm not from El Salvador. I'm not from El Salvador. Y como esta acá es el verbo to be, agrego not después de is I'm not from El Salvador. And now, y ahora ya no es afirmativa, ahora es negative. Right? So that's what it is. Okay. Questions until now? Preguntas hasta el momento? No, yes, could it be? Sorry, Jemima, I can hear you. Uh, Se escucha algo lejitos por allá. Hello, hello. Teacher. Tell me. Fernando wrote in the chat. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let me check it. It says, all right. Okay, it says, all right, I got it, thank you. Thank you so much. It says, yeah, it's like we're in all lados. It was raining here at home, as I said before. You know, it's raining a lot. But anyways, it's okay. It's okay. I got it. I got it, guys. It's fine. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, guys. Um, so, no more questions then? I think we're good then. All right. So, 
Um, that's what it is. But how can we make it negative? Uh, I'm sorry, not negative. I was like, a question. How can we make that a question, teacher? I don't know how. Well, I'm, we're going to check it right now, guys. <laughs> I know, I'm crazy sometimes. All right. So listen, this is what it is. So if you have an affirmative, uh, an affirmative sentence, she is a student, and you have this right here, okay? This is actually the structure for the yes, no questions. What do you need? First, you need the verb to be, then you need the subject, complement, and of course, the question mark at the end. Quick thing, las preguntas en inglés solo llevan el question mark que es el signo de pregunta al final. No lo llevan al principio, okay? Just at the end, just at the end. That's where you have it. And so that's what it is, you know? Um, so, how can we make this? Um, I would say, not that one. Let me just erase this one. I don't want it. Okay. Uh, we are students. Okay. How can I make it into a question? Who has the answer? Mm -hmm. Who can tell me? Who can help me? Mm -hmm. Okay. Tenemos acá la oración afirmativa. We are students. Esta la queremos nosotros pasar a una pregunta. ¿Qué dice que tenemos que tener primero? What does it say that we have to have first? What? The bird to be. Okay. Oops. The bird to be. Like this. The bird to be. Okay. So, ¿cuál es el bird to be in this sentence? Are. Right? So, are. Then the subject. What is the subject here? Are we are students? We. Okay. We. And the complement. Are. We, as students, right? And a question mark. And that's how you make it, okay? So, for example, uh, oh. this one, can we make this a question? Uh, she is a student, how can it be a question? Mm -hmm. She are students? Mm, no. Let's remember the structure. Is she a student? Is Oops. she a student? Yes, that's what we can do. Is she a student? Right? And then, yes, we are turning that into a question, right? The verb to be, the subject, complement. Is she a student? Yes. And that's what it is. Now, acuérdense, ¿cuántas respuestas tienen posibles respuestas? How many possible answers do we have for the just no questions? Mm -hmm. Two. 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 Which ones? Yes or no. Yes or no, right? Yes or no. Cool. And the answer can be yes, it is, no, it's not. It depends on the subject, okay? Siempre hay que prestar atención porque subject nos están preguntando, right? What's the subject? That they're asking us for. So, guys, do you have any question about this? No? No. Are you sure? Seguros? Are you sure? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Bueno, vamos a ver si es verdad. <laughs> okay, so right now we will do something. I need you to write five just no questions on your notebook. Write. Five just no questions on your notebook, okay? Later on, you are going to ask that questions to your classmates. Yes? You got it? Do you understand? Yes? So write five just no questions on your notebook, okay? Are we good? Questions? See? Sí? No? Quizá puede ser. Ok. Voy a asumir que me entendieron entonces. <laughs> Guys, we have a question. Yes, are we good? No? Five just no questions on your notebook. Oh, We're it's... going to write five just no questions on your notebook. Yes? Yes. 
Okay, cool. Thank you. I'm going to give you five minutes, okay? Five minutes. Work on that, please. All right, guys, two more minutes. Then you're going to ask those uh, just now questions to one of your classmates, okay? So that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be practicing that. I'm finished. Okay, thank you. So we're going to wait one more minute, okay? One more minute for you to finish, guys. Uh, disculpe, teacher, uh, ¿cuántos eran? Five. Five. Uh, cinco, yes, no questions. Yes, five just now questions. Mm -hmm. I finished. Okay. 
Not a problem. So let's see. Okay, teacher. All right, cool. So this is what we're going to do, guys. Now, uh, what I'm going to ask you to do is I'm going to ask you to, well, raise your virtual hand if you finish, please. I just want to see how many people finish now. Please go ahead and just, just, just raise your virtual hand, please. Just raise it up. And yeah, I'm going to see it right here. Yeah, that's what it is. Thank you so much. Okay, I see your mm -hmm. hands up. Thank you. Mm -hmm. When you finish again, you can just raise your virtual hand and I see. Lo que les estoy diciendo es cuando terminen, traten siempre de um, levantar su manita virtual. Así yo ya ahí ya puedo ver cuántos tenemos que ya terminaron, please. So just, just like that. Okay, for example, I have Alejandro Antonio. Okay, Alejandro Antonio, do me a favor. Go ahead and ask one of your just now questions to one of your classmates. Um, Jaime Iván Ventura Tato. Eh, is he the teacher? That's a good question. Am I? <laughs> one question wow. or all the five questions? Just one. Just one. Okay. Uh, Jaime Ivan, are you a soccer player? Is she a nurse? Sorry, can you say that again? Can you say that again, please? Is, is, is she a nurse? No, le están haciendo una pregunta ahorita. Usted tiene que responder. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Repeat, repeat me. Uh -huh. the, the question is, are you a soccer player? No. Uh, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Good job. Yes, yes, Jaime. Good job. All right. Now you, Jaime, go ahead and ask a question to one of your classmates. Uh, please, 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 please. Uh, Alejandro Antonio Funes. Ah, él le acaba de preguntar. Pregúntele a alguien más. Excuse me, excuse me. Okay. De Inge Esmeralda. Uh -huh. eh, are, you, are you happy? Yes, I am. Okay, that's a good question. Okay. Now you, Ingrid, ask a question to one of your classmates. Okay, let me see. It is Milena. Are you a doctor? Can you repeat, please? Okay. Are you a doctor? No, I am not. Mm -hmm. Good job, yes. Now you, Iris, ask a question to one of your classmates, please. Abigail Elizabeth, are you reading books? Wait, um, that's a good question, but it's a little advanced. Esa es una buena pregunta, solo que está un poquitito avanzada lo que estamos viendo ahorita. <laughs> solo... Okay. Just... Mm -hmm. I am still in the present continuous, and we don't need that. <laughs> are you reading books? Are you? Because it means reading, just that was in the present continuous with the verb to be. Y todavía no llegamos ahí. Uh, <laughs> entonces, algo así más sencillo, como lo que hemos estado viendo aquí, como like, are you something else? Mm -hmm. um, let me share my screen so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, like this, like these questions. Are we students? 
Is she a student? You know, like little basic, you know. Little more. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are you play soccer? Are you a soccer player? See. Si. Are you a soccer player? I do. Are you soccer soccer player? Uh huh. Uh, yes, I am soccer player. I am a soccer player. Okay. Good job. Awesome. Good job. Uh huh. All right. Thank you. Now you ask a question to somebody else, please. Okay. Um, um, Ingrid Esmeralda, no sé si ya le preguntaron. Uh, yeah, ask uh, Floricia, please. Ask Floricia. to Floricia. Mm -hmm. eh, okay, Floricia. Um, are we a brothers? Are we brothers? Mm, en todo caso diría, are we sisters? Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Are we sisters? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> um, I have two sisters. Wait, listen. Are we, we, you know, like we sisters? Mm -hmm. um. No. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No. No? No what? No que. No que. Okay. No, okay. <laughs> no what? <laughs> no. no how sister have. Right. Vamos bien, vamos bien, vamos bien. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> Solo escuche la pregunta y escuche el sujeto porque le están preguntando. Once again, repeat the question, please. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. um, are we a sister? Are we single A? Are we ah. sisters? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, no. Eh, no escuchaba bien. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> no? No, no. Eh, um, no. We're not sisters. Eh, no, we're not sisters. Mm -hmm. no, yes. Sister. No, we're not sisters. Pero les decía, no. hay que ir como revisar y asegurarnos de que eh, sepamos por qué subject nos están preguntando, right? Okay, okay. that's it. Okay. Now you, Floricia, please ask a question to one of your classmates. Permita. Carla. Carla Marcela. Is you a student, Carla Marcel? Are you? Are you? I don't see. Are you a student? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Good job. Yes. Okay. And that's basically how we do it, guys. That's how you are going to, uh, I will say, uh, practice the just no questions. Just remember the structure, okay? okay? Can you see my screen? Pueden ver mi pantalla? Sí? Yes? Yes. Okay, just remember the structure. Yes. The verb to be, the subject, and the complement. And of course, you gotta add the question mark. Just, just remember, uh, when you uh when you are asked a question, you have to answer. You can say yes, or you can say no. Okay, eso ya lo sabemos. Pero lo que sigue después, eh, pónganme atención acá. Lo que sigue después va a depender del sujeto. Por ejemplo, del subject. En esta oración, en esta question, is she a student? ¿Cuál es el subject? Which is the subject? Sí. Entonces, vamos a decir, no, she She's not. is not. ¿Ok? Y acá, which is the subject? Which is the subject there? We. Exactly. 
So we will say, no, we. Ah, pero qué formal verbo tú vivas con we? Ah, como ya sabemos, ¿va? No, sería, no, we are not. No, we're not. So, esta respuesta ya la sabemos. Lo que sigue después va a depender del subject. Siempre vamos a decir el subject, ¿ok? El mismo subject porque nos están preguntando. Porque si, yo le, si a mí me preguntan, eh, ¿es ella a maestra? Y yo digo, sí, yo soy. No, ¿verdad? Porque me están preguntando por ella y yo estoy diciendo yo, entonces ahí no makes sense, right? Entonces hay que poner atención a eso, ¿ok? So we'll be like, yes, we are. O oh, no, I'm sorry, my bad, my bad, my bad. It's, no, uh, just we are, ¿ok? Or if it is negative, if it is negative, then yes, it will be like, no, we are not. Okay? Boom. Or it can be negative. Podría estar, I'm sorry, contracted. Podría estar contractado también. No, we're not. All right? So that's what it is. Questions about this, guys? Not no. no? Good, good. Okay, now. Let's, I think we do have time to check something else right here. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Yeah, okay. I got this solved right here, but uh, I don't know if you guys have the platform on your computers. No sé si tienen la plataforma abierta. Eh, si no, les voy a dar un par de minutos antes que nos vayamos para que podamos ir al knowledge check acá y podamos trabajar en, a por lo menos en la primera parte, en la primera conversation right there. Uh, y vamos a chequearla juntos. Va a dar dos minutos. I'm going to give you two minutes, okay? Después vamos a chequearla juntos acá para ver cómo nos fue, right? To see how it was for us. So you can open it on your cell phone if you have it, if you can. Uh, or you can use your computer or anything you guys have. Okay? That's what you can do. Este sería la sección 3.4. Yes, in the knowledge, I'm sorry, yeah, it's not sharing the screen. Yeah, it's actually uh, that knowledge uh, right here. Can you see my screen right now? 3.4, knowledge check. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm, yeah. Okay. Okay, let's check it together. It says, number one, Fernando Jose, do me a favor. Can you read this, please? So we are completing the conversation, okay? No? Okay. Uh... Carla Marcela Cruz, do me a favor. Can you read this, please? Puede leer esta, por favor? Can you read, please? Can you read it? Conversation. Mm -hmm. uh, Hiroshi. Hiroshi, ajá. Uh -huh. Are you and Michael from Japan? Okay, and then it says, yes, we, what? Oops. What do you think? ¿Cómo pudiéramos completarla? Yes, yes, we are. Yes, we, we are. are. Yes. And then it says, oh, da -da -da -da, you from Tokyo? Sure. Are you from Tokyo? Are you from Tokyo? Yes. And then it says, no, plural. No, what? No? Oops. No. No. No what? Are not. No. Are not. We're. we're. No, we're not. We're not. Mm -hmm. No, we're not. ¿Por qué? Porque es, es plural, ¿vean? Entonces acá preguntaron por you en plural. Ustedes. Entonces es como no, nosotros no, right? Nosotros no somos. All right. And the last one. Da -da -da -da, from 
Kyoto. It says Kyoto. It is, ah, yeah, Kyoto. Mm -hmm. Plural. What do you think? Are we from Kyoto? We. Mm -hmm. We are. Yes, we're. We're from yeah. Tokyo. Then let's just click right here and it says MDR or send if you have it in English. And these are the answers, okay? We got them good right here, okay? So guys, just as a way of reminder, please work on these, okay? We're going to stop the class right here because we don't have time today. Pero si les voy a decir, traten de ir trabajando ustedes. Si se dieron cuenta, pues ya ahorita va a ser tal vez un poco más suave. Eh, porque solo va a ser una sección que vamos a ver así que vamos a tener un poquito más de tiempo vamos con un poquito más de espacio eh, pero sí tampoco eh, no dejen ahí de trabajar en la plataforma si sí, eso sí hay que hacerlo acuérdense que hay que tenerla completa toda right at least 80 percent actually that's what they're asking you for so so tomorrow we're going to continue with this parts right here so for now i don't know if you have a question before i let you go questions no. No? Okay, guys. So, uh, try to practice this, okay? And try to practice on the platform as well. Pueden seguir practicando acá the other parts, okay? So, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. You guys, uh, you guys take care and enjoy the rest of your day, all right? Well, Thank night. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow, guys. You guys take Good care. Night. Bye. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, guys. Bye-bye.